commute to today's game may have been a bit easier as the Leo Frigo Bridge finally reopened. The bridge has been closed since September after a section of the bridge sagged. The Leo Frigo sees an average of 40,000 cars a day. Today's reopening taking some burden off of traffic on Highway 172 and 41. NBC 26's Paul Evenson has more. Several weeks ago, crews working on the Leo Frigo Bridge project had a feeling that they might be done early. Getting done in time for the Packer traffic game day, well, that was just a bonus. When we realized the, the degree of the problem that we had, uh, nobody could phantom that here we'd be on you know, January 5th and we'd be opening the bridge up already. But that's exactly what DOT officials did, with as much celebration as they could muster given this morning's temperatures. Plows finished clearing traffic lanes and laying a heavy layer of salt on the bridge that hasn't seen traffic in months. After stopping for a brief photo opportunity, the group made it official by dragging one of the final roadblocks off the highway. Then, it was a matter of waiting for that first car to cross. <laughs> Workers battled through tough conditions of snow and freezing temperatures to finish the project 12 days early, but it was the day-to-day -day costs to drivers that was on everyone's mind. $139,000 a day user delay cost when people have to go around and find a different route as well as the economic impact to northeast Wisconsin as a whole and especially to the city of Green Bay and Brown County. Everyone on site said it was a real team effort to get this bridge open early and they're just happy that now motorists can once again travel across a very popular thoroughfare. Reporting from the Leo Frigo Bridge, Paul Evenson, NBC 26.